Doug from North Carolina, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Doug, what's up, man? Thank you for purchasing uh, an analysis product for uh, from me. I appreciate that. You actually purchased the uh, MLS search and analysis product. Um, so what I am doing is I scoured the MLS and I found a product that fit your needs. Uh, let's just go over where you're at. Uh, you are living the dream, man. You have been doing this for 15 years, so you're a sophisticated investor. You have a high risk tolerance. You're interested in BCD. Um, you're pretty much open to, to whatever. Your main goals are as much cash flow as you can possibly get. You're actually retiring uh, from your IT job. Looks like you're an IT IT manager for a bank, but you're retiring this week. So it looks like you're uh, you're going to be living off your retirement, uh, your investments uh, from here on out, man. So congratulations to making it to the other side. Full-time real estate investor uh, slash retiree, man. That's that's always everyone's goal. You you live down in North Carolina. You got nine rentals in North Carolina. Then you have one um, up here in Ohio uh, that you purchased through Holton Wise. And I know you're also under contract on another one of my properties, uh, that was just recently on the investment property for sale show. So that's about to be your second. This could possibly be your third property in Ohio. Um, the, the one you bought for me a few years ago, um, that was a property running at 800 and uh, you liked it. Stellar deal. Uh, you've been doing very well on that property. So you just want to do something like that uh, again. Uh, more or less, the main thing that... Um, you dislike about the Cleveland market, and that went into my thought process on picking this property for you, uh, was the taxes, right? The taxes are a little high. Um, and comparatively, right, like if you look at like the Birmingham, Alabama market, I mean, yeah, dude, the property taxes are definitely higher here. Um, so I picked a property for you that was lower on the value uh, spectrum. It's a, it's under $100,000, so we don't have a lot of property taxes. And it's in Cleveland, which is uh, one of the lower taxed uh, cities here in Cleveland. Like, just so you guys know, the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you go to holtonwise.com, tools and resources, it'll pull it up. I graded everything on an A to F scale. The property I found for you, it is in a D neighborhood. It's in the northern half of 44109. All right, but we're going to get into why I specifically like it. But the tax rate, as you see, it's 2.79%, which is lower than a lot of the other. Um, other uh, suburbs around like Warrensville Heights is 3.04, Maple Heights 3.7, Newburgh 3.37. Uh, this is this is where this this is the neighborhood right here. This is the the northern half of 44109. Up here was the southern half of 44109, which I've rated as a C. Um, but like areas like Garfield Heights and stuff, like Shaker Heights, those those are all higher. So all that info is for everybody watching this on. Uh, YouTube, all of that info is available for you guys. Uh, the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. You can either Google it or just go to the Tools and Resource tab at HoltonWise.com. Um, so, all of that said, let's get into this property. Right, low price, seventy-two thousand dollars. So the fact that we picked Cleveland proper, we got the lower property taxes. It's lower than Garfield Heights, Warrensville Heights, Cleveland Heights, Euclid, right? Uh, you have a high risk tolerance because you're a pro, man. You've been doing this for 15 years. Uh, as I said, it's a D-class neighborhood, uh, but it is actually my favorite D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market, um, and I'm going to show you why. Oops. Let me pull this up here. All right. The reason I really like this D-class neighborhood above all else is here is your property it's on daisy avenue it's 3100 daisy avenue and it's listed by a realtor um who works over at a local company called howard hannah all right right here this is metro health okay this is why i like this 
Doug, you've been doing this for 15 years, bro. Um, I don't need to, to burn time explaining to you what all goes in with a D-class investment. You comprehend that at this as, at this point in the game. You have a high risk tolerance. You get all that shit, like evictions, not payment of rent, shit like that's going to happen. You are aware of this. But what I really like, and, you know, the rents that we're getting on this, I'm going to go through that in a minute, um, totally worth all that risk when you, when you see the rents. But what I really like, the cherry on top, is you're here. Here's Metro Health here. This is a very, very large hospital, and they have just recently committed uh, to putting a billion dollars into this immediate neighborhood right here. So I'm not big on telling you guys, like, uh, I'm not a big spec guy, right? I don't I don't like to be like, oh, buy this property. It's going to triple in value. I, if you guys watch enough of my content on Holton Wise TV, I don't really talk about that that much, right? Like when Amazon was coming to town uh, and uh, – they were putting their fulfillment center in Euclid. I made, you know, a lot of the properties we were selling, we talked about that because that is like one specific event that is clearly going to have a positive impact on that neighborhood. Um, so unless I have something like that, I don't really like to talk about speculation. This is a specific event that's going to have a positive outlook on this neighborhood. A billion dollars of development into this neighborhood. I mean, you'd have to be a fool to think that's not going to improve property values. So let's get into the numbers uh, on this property quickly. Pulling the chart up, it's currently rented right now, 100% occupied. One of those units, the downstairs unit, it's really big. It's like like a, a mother-in-law, potential mother-in-law suite, like in the back. Like maybe that's what it's originally built for on top of it, like with that unit for the down unit. Uh, but it's never, it's not a legal triplex, so you wouldn't want to run it as a triplex. So just, you know, it's a four-bed, two-bath unit essentially. And they're renting that for $750. Upstairs, they're getting $750 as well. So we're bringing in $1,500 a month on this thing. That's eighteen grand a year. Uh, pulling up the second chart quickly. Uh, again, Doug, you've been doing this for 15 years. You comprehend what all these numbers are. You know you're not making 18 grand a year. Uh, we currently have a D-class property. Uh, in a D-class neighborhood. So you know there's going to be repairs and maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, CapEx. Uh, the taxes, though, right? Taxes are lower, okay? This is a you know pretty low-cost property, so you only got to pay $125 a month in those taxes. Insurance, $80 a month, as you probably already know, Doug. I think we are handling your insurance premium. For everyone else that's watching this video, in the show notes below, uh, reach out to my associate, Kevin Hogue. Uh, he runs our insurance company. Uh, insurance company built for investors by investors, guys. So if you guys are investors out there, your landlords out there, uh, we're going to get you a policy specifically catered for landlords. We get it. You got one goal in mind when it comes to insurance, and that's to keep that premium as low as possible. So reach out to us. Info in the show notes. Uh, pulling the chart up again, though. So that, that insurance, we should be able to insure this thing for 80 Water sewer, 150 a month. That's my normal estimate. Uh, I usually estimate about 75 a month. Now, um, it's very possible, Doug, that we could be on the higher end of that 150 just because, like, your one unit is a 4-2, right? So, you know, typically if you got a 2-1, uh, you know, it's pretty reasonable to believe that the majority of people attracted to a four-bedroom, two-bathroom unit. Uh, there's usually going to be bigger families living there, which more people, more showers, so... Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if maybe the water came in a little higher than that. Um, lawn care, typical, 44 a month. Holton Weiss, uh, we, we cut the grass 16 times a year here in Cleveland. Property of this size uh, should be about a uh, $33 a cut charge. So average that out for the year, 44 a month. And then, of course, my favorite of all owner expenses on this chart here is the property management fee you got to pay the man we don't deal with uh, tenants we don't deal with problems for free guys so 150 so doug you're bringing in 1500 a month scheduled gross decent estimate of everything that's going to happen both variable non-variable and you know factoring in evictions things of that nature you should be spending roughly 774 a month to operate this sucker so that means you're going to be putting in your pocket $726 a month or $8,712 a year um, just by buying this bad boy and the list price is 72,000 and honestly i think if you bought it at 72 I think that's a good deal because I think there's some upside, but I think you could, you know, making your offer, I think we'd want to come in like mid 60s. I don't think we'd want to make an offer of 72. If you look at the property, like this would scare a lot of people too. Like it's a big, big, huge duplex, but like, uh, you know, 
I said this a couple times, or I'm going to say it again. Like, you've been doing this for 15 years. You have a high risk tolerance, so I think this makes sense for you. If uh, you were like a brand new investor, total total newbie uh, living in North Carolina, you're like, oh, it's my first, first foray into the Cleveland market. I, I wouldn't recommend this property for you because it's going to scare it's going to scare people. Um, like, th this is the backyard, right? Like, you know, that, that's a fucking door <laughs> on the floor. You get some fucked up plywood. Uh, that door is kind of jacked up looking. I mean, you know, this is just typical stuff that you, you see in, in a D-class neighborhood. Just, just crap everywhere. Um, you know, fence is looking a little rickety. But, I mean, more or less, I mean, that's just what these yards are, are going to look like. Uh, going in the inside, you know pretty solid right you got the the dark hardwoods you know these hardwoods these are like 100 year old properties uh this one specifically is built in where this one's built in 1900 so this one's about 119 years old right now uh you definitely don't want to put carpet in there guys um you know you want the regular hardwoods if they're in really really nice condition you'll refinish them it looks like what we have here they just painted them a dark brown which you do see that in the lower income neighborhoods it's common one neutral color throughout uh at turnover like if this tenant ever moved out we would probably go with more of a gray th gray scheme uh we were using this cream beige type color scheme about five six years ago uh, but then we switched it to the gray, which is now the most popular color in America. Interior color is agreeable gray. A little tip out there for everyone. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. Uh, just continuing on with the pictures, like, you know, obviously that's, that's not great, man. Like there's, you know, they didn't put the finishing work. They didn't finish that up. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's not fancy, right? You're not buying a property at this price point in this neighborhood because you're looking for something to be super fancy. Although on a positive note, it, as you can see, we do have decent tile work and we do have like a newer looking vanity, newer newer toilet. That's going to be good to lower the the water cost. But you know, it's still it's dirty. It's 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 not you know it's not like super nice in there. Here's the other unit. We got some old raggedy carpet. Uh, you know the other kitchen. Nothing nothing high end here. I got to say, I don't like this. I don't like when I see this in properties. Uh, I mean, I like this property for you, Doug, uh, but I don't like shit like this, man. Somebody had to put this outlet here, and they got lazy. They didn't go inside the wall. They just put it on conduit outside of the wall. That's just, uh, you know, a previous landlord just being a cheap ass, right? Didn't want to pay the money to go inside the wall, do it the right way. So that would be something that I would hope at the next turnover um, we could rectify, get that knocked out for you. Do it the right way. I just, I don't like to see shit like that. Uh, you know, rest of the kitchen. Here's your bathroom. Again, nothing fancy, nothing, nothing super nice. And then your unfinished attic. And then that's the property. Uh, so, you know, it ain't pretty, right? It's, it's definitely not pretty, but running the numbers here, right? You know, making the investment 72 grand. You're bringing in 8700 bucks a year, you know, on average. That is a cap rate of 12.1. I mean, those are great numbers. Now, I know uh, you had said you're, you're doing this cash. You're doing this, uh, I believe you're using self-directed IRA funds. Uh, so right now you just want to pick this thing up cash, which, by the way, is probably uh, going to work well in your favor when we're bidding on this. Um, that's another reason I think you can come in with like a 
a little more aggressive bid like in the in the in the mid 60s there like i would start the opening bid at 65,000 i don't think you need to pay 72 and the fact that you know you're a seasoned investor you can close you know relatively quickly of course we'd still want to make it contingent on inspection uh, but they don't have to worry about you know bringing in appraisers bothering the tenants for the second time stuff getting caught up in underwriting just quick clean cash deal you know i think you get a little better price right um, so y you might even have higher, you know, better numbers, higher returns than what we're going here. But I like to go conservative with these estimates and I go off your, uh, the listed price. Cause you know, I think it's going to be pretty likely you can get this somewhere in the sixties, but I don't, I've never talked to the seller. I'm not the listing agent in this property. I don't know. Seller could be totally crazy and be stuck on 72 or they're not selling. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's possible from, from what we've seen, it appears with that electrical that the seller is a penny pincher, but you know, who knows? Uh, but anywho. I'm, I'm rambling a little bit. What I was trying to tell you, though, is uh, you want to use that cash, right? So I know you're not going to do a mortgage at this time, but you said you would possibly look to doing uh, some type of non-recourse loan later. So I just ran the numbers for you uh, just for informational purchases, or maybe you refi out one day. If you did get a 30-year residential um, loan on this property eventually, you know, you'd be required to keep 18 grand in the deal. Uh, you should be able to get a loan for at least 54,000, which puts your mortgage payment at 273. So your net cash flow after all your expenses and you pan back that loan would be 453. That's 5436 a year going into your pocket after you pay for your expenses and you pay off that relatively cheap mortgage. Uh, and with the amount of money you need to put, you know, keep into the deal, right? If it's only 18 grand, that on paper pencils out to a 30% return. So if you did do a refi on this, uh, you know, the money's good. Now, obviously, uh, you know, this is an estimate. It is higher risk. Um, the biggest thing, and you already know this, uh, the biggest thing is when investors buy properties in the, in the low class area, they get scared by that yard, the fact that everything looks rough. That's That's one issue, but... I don't think that's an issue that should scare you because it's, you know, it's not your first rodeo. And then the other thing, of course, is like, you know, you're supposed to make $8,700 a month when things run normal. When we get into these lower class assets, uh, you know, sometimes what happens is it's more peaks and valleys, right? Like we'll be running really, really good for two, three years and you'll probably make more than 8700 But then you might run into, you know two years in a row where we get a string of crappy tenants we got to do some evictions uh tenants trash in the units when they move out um for anybody else that's out there that's watching this and they've never actually seen an eviction if you're interested in seeing what an eviction actually looks like in the show notes in the mentioned on the show section i'll include links to two videos uh we have two live evictions where uh, when my crew went out to evict people we actually took the whole film crew so you guys can see everything uh, that's involved in eviction, and you guys could, you know, even see how much it costs. Because uh, evictions, man, they're they're damaging, they're tough. Um, so stuff like that, right? If you have two two bad years in a row, that's a little scary. You know, that's why I don't recommend properties like this for newer investors. But again, I can't say it enough, Doug. For you, man, 15 years in the game, high risk tolerance. Uh, if you have two bad years, you know that if you just you know muscle it out. You're going to coast eventually. You're going to eventually get those tenants in there that stay for multiple years. Uh, another thing, too, like we're at 750 for both units. Eventually, these folks will move out. I mean, we all, we all know that. They're probably not going to live there forever, right? But if you go to the FAC on HoltonWise.com, what I really want to show you is uh, right here, the Section 8 FAC. I think this would be a great property to utilize Section 8. So if you had a turnover in the next couple of years, uh, what I would do is I'd renovate one of those units and make them Section 8 ready. Like that four-bedroom unit, like HUD's fair market rents, twelve thirty-five. dollars CMHA's payment standard, thirteen fifty-eight. dollars Now, that does not mean that we can – I can guarantee you we're going to get uh, a Section 8 tenant in that unit paying you thirteen fifty-eight a month. I can't guarantee that. But that's like the most that CMHA – which, by the way, CMHA is the housing authority that handles the Section 8 program here in the Cleveland area – um, that's what they will pay up to. It's kind of like a guessing game to see exactly what they'll pay, right? There's like a whole bidding process after you go through the inspections and you get a tenant signed up. That's why on HoltonWise.com I have this entire Section 8 fact. This entire page is dedicated to explaining to you how we handle Section 8 on your behalf. 
A lot of property managers out there will not work with investors who want to utilize Section 8. And it's not because the tenants are any worse or any better or any different than any other tenant moving into this neighborhood. Uh, what it is is there's just like a, an abundance of red tape and bureaucracy dealing with uh, CMHA and just dealing with the program. It's a pain in the ass. Uh, most management companies don't don't want to deal with it, right? It's more workload for the, the company. Like this whole thing is like explaining all the stuff we do. Uh, so definitely check that out and you'll see all the stuff we do. There are some additional fees we charge to, to go the Section 8 route, but uh, if we're getting much higher rent and that's reducing our turnover theoretically because it's government guarantee, those tenants aren't paying it, the government's paying it, you know, why move, right? They don't need to move to the apartment down the street because it's 100 bucks cheaper. They don't care. They're not paying for the rent. Uh, so... I think this would be a prime candidate for Section 8 at your turnover. Wouldn't mess with your tenants right now. Both those units, uh, they look pretty rough, dude. So I would anticipate uh, turnover cost in each of those units at least five grand because uh, they look pretty ragged. Um, are we going to have a turnover six months from now? I don't know. Is it going to be two years from now? I'm not sure. I don't know how long those tenants are going to stay. Per the listing agent, they're currently on month to month. So you got to ride that cash flow that those tenants are bringing in as long as humanly possible. And then when one or both moves out, fix their unit up nice as you can get it. I would go Section 8, maximize the rent, and then hopefully you could rock it out on Section 8 for quite a while. And then who knows? With uh, the billion dollars of investment coming into this neighborhood, uh, maybe it turns. You know, it's very, very close to Ohio City, Tremont, Gordon Square. Uh, you know, the hottest spots in Cleveland. When people hear about Cleveland, the resurgence, those are the neighborhoods they think about. Uh, so you're right there, and you got the billion dollars coming in. So for all those reasons, Doug, this deal, 100% James Wise approved. I think this deal makes sense for you, man. So if you want to make an offer on this property, you can utilize me as your buyer's agent. Um, if you want to reach out to the listing agent directly, you can do that as well. Uh, it's up to you. Like when you purchase these analysis, man, it is, uh, there's no, uh, obligation to utilize my services. I think, uh, a lot of, I've noticed a lot of the fans of the show, they do use me and my team cause you guys want to continue on with this expert, uh, analysis relationship through the bidding process, through the inspection process. But some investors who've been doing this a long time know that if you go to the listing agent directly, the listing agent is going to be more motivated to push your offer over the top, um, because they're getting paid more. But I actually happen to know the realtor that's doing this deal. And I've done several deals with this dude. And, uh, my deals, when I put in offers, I put in offers for serious buyers only. I mean, you guys have to pay to get the analysis. So I know we're not dealing with tire kickers here, right? If you're paying me, to find you the property, you're ready to buy. So I don't waste time with tire kickers. So my deals do get pushed through and I think I could probably negotiate a pretty solid deal for you on this. Like I said, I'd be aiming for that $65,000 range. And then what we of course would want to do, make a contingent on inspection. We need to get a home inspector in there to check out the furnace, check out the hot water tank, check out the roof. I do not anticipate any of that to be new. I don't anticipate any of it to be broken. We have tenants in there, but I guarantee you uh, at least some of it's close to end of life. Um, and just, just for your knowledge, if you're not aware, um, <clears throat> in the Cleveland market, what you're looking at cost-wise, furnace replacement, three Gs, roughly. Uh, hot water tank replacement, one grand, roughly. Uh, hot water tanks should last you for 15 years. Uh, if we go in there, I doubt we're going to see a brand new hot water tank. It's, I'm assuming it's probably going to be somewhere around that range. I wouldn't expect to see brand new furnaces, um, but those will last you roughly 30 years. And then, of course, your roof. Uh, this is a pretty big big property it's a big roof i would say it looks like it's in pretty good shape but you know i'm only looking at it from a photo but that's probably like a six to seven thousand dollar roof whenever you do need to replace it but that is what we'll have the inspector do right like the analysis man this is due diligence on the market this is due diligence on how this will perform as an investment vehicle this is very much due diligence on the majority of the information i can provide is about outside of the four walls how this house relates as a uh, investment vehicle but that doesn't mean that like that's enough we got to get a home inspector third-party home inspector in there on your behalf so you know he could really you know break you know check this out with a fine tooth comb and get to know everything uh, that's wrong with the house. He could get in there, and there might be more problems uh, uncovered that you know I haven't seen. Like you know, we saw evidence that there could be issues. Like I don't like that there was electric electrical ran outside the wall. Yes, it's technically to code because it's in conduit, but I just think it's half-assed. I don't like that. Maybe he notices there's other electrical issues we don't know about. 
that's something that you know can be brought up could possibly renegotiate could possibly get the seller to fix it prior to closing although that's probably not the route i would want to go uh since you're paying cash and they've seen evidence of again doing things kind of half-assed i'd like to see you know if if that issue came about something like that we'd want to negotiate like a price reduction for that issue and then holton wise our construction staff will handle that for you and we'll do everything 100 percent the right way so, again, Doug, man, if you want to make an offer, let me know. Shoot me an email, jameswise, holtonwise.com. Me and my team will act as your buyer broker. If you want to reach out to the listing agent directly, uh, not a problem. All his information, you know, you could Google this property. It should pop up. He is the listing agent. We can go any which way. For everybody that else is uh, that's watching Doug's video right now, uh, just so you know, this property is no longer available. I sent this to Doug probably two months ago, okay, and uh, – we handled that deal. The property is now no longer available. Only when the property is no longer available do I release it publicly on Holton Wise TV for you guys all to watch. So if you're just learning about real estate, you know, keep watching the other MLS search and analysis shows, guys, uh, and you'll get a lot of education. And then when you're ready to buy your own property, you could do one of two things. Number one, you could subscribe to Holton Wise TV on YouTube and uh, subscribe to our mailing list. The show notes uh, below are going to have the... Uh, the link to get yourself on our mailing list. And every day at 1 o'clock, I'm going to email you a show called the Investment Properties for Sale Show. And those are properties that I'm selling. I'm the number one seller of rental property in Cleveland. So you're going to get like a full video tour of the property. And I'm going to assess it more or less like I've assessed this uh, and explain to you guys, you know, the strategy behind buying that investment. You guys could buy properties right off my show. Uh, again, number one seller of rentals in Cleveland. That show's widely popular. And then the second way you guys can buy properties in the Cleveland market is you could do exactly what Doug did here. Uh, you could hire me and my team. Uh, whether you found a property from another realtor, you want us to look over it, or you just want to give us your criteria, and we will search the MLS. And uh, based on what your situation is, I will identify what I think is the best type of investment for you. Uh, you can do that. You just go to HoltonWise.com, the property search tab, and you'll have the option to go to the Investment Property for Sale show or this show, the MLS search and analysis show. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. Before I let you go, do yourself a favor if you're a new viewer and smash that subscribe button. Like the video, let uh, YouTube's algorithm know that this video is providing investors value. Share it with another friend. And uh, that's it, guys. Take it easy. I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. High Return Real Estate is a true turnkey machine in Indianapolis, Indiana. This company was built for investors by investors. We buy rehab, inspect, tenant, and sell stabilized turnkey real estate to investors with complete transparency on every step of the process. Every property we sell comes with a third-party inspection, both before and after the rehab, along with a six-month warranty on all major system renovations and our exclusive in-house property management team that has one goal in mind provide our clients with high return real estate. For more information, subscribe to our mailing list in the show notes below or visit us online at highreturnrealestate.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders 
who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.